How's it going everyone? Welcome or welcome back to Real Night. Today we're diving back in Avatar. Uh, last time we had some pretty interesting episodes, especially the uh, final one. I did enjoy getting some Toph background, but the <laughs> episode that followed that, the, the Puppet Master, was very dark and, you know, kind of a departure from what we normally get in the show. I was, I wouldn't necessarily say struggling to see the full picture, but I really appreciate what you guys had to say in the comments. I don't know if I necessarily said it in the closing thoughts of the previous episode, but I do definitely understand Katara's mindset when it comes to bloodbending, just simply due to the circumstances through which she learned that ability. Um, now it's very stigmatized for her and I understand why she wouldn't want to use it because she was introduced to it in this manipulative way, really heavily emotional way. I mean, like she, her brother almost died, Aang almost died. She had to save their lives using this. Some of you in the comments were kind of saying that and I, I did understand. I was kind of speaking from an outside perspective, not necessarily from the perspective of Katara. You know, I was just kind of like, it was just kind of my opinion on it. Like if I had, the ability to do it, what I would think about it, right? Anyway, we got some new episodes to think about and <laughs> break down here, so uh, let's roll. That can't be good, especially after the episode that we got <laughs> last time. I wonder if they're dealing with some, you know, aftermath of that. This is it, the official rendezvous point for the invasion force. How did you pick this place? Before we split up, my dad and I found this island on a map. Why and we're here four days ahead of schedule. Wait! Nice. Hey. The invasion's in four days? They made it. We're here, we're ready. The best thing we can do now is get plenty of rest. They really scheduled in a lot of relax relaxation time, I guess. <laughs> it seemed like all these episodes, they were just kind of like chilling, you know? Staying in one place. I don't think we even got one, like, travel episode. Whoa. This has to be a reference to something. Your days of tyranny are over, Fire Lord. I'm bringing you down. <laughs> really? How do you plan on doing that? When like you're classic not anime even wearing pants. Like the hair, I think, is just a telltale giveaway. <laughs> but that's very interesting too, because that that doesn't look anything like Fire Lord Ozai. It was just a dream, Momo. I better keep training. Why kicking plants? Fresh fruit print, Zuko? Head massage? Hot towel? It's kind of like coming to America. The prince just doesn't want to hold the princely things. You didn't take the palanquin. I'm just going to May's house. It's not far. It's not a prince's place to walk anywhere, sir. Or maybe he's just like not used to it. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, I have the feeling he'll miss those road days. <laughs> He really wasn't that far. I know this tends to be, you know, a thing for martial arts, fighting training, hitting a heavy bag, stuff like that. I got a lot more skills to refine if I'm gonna fight Ozai. I've, you know, there is such a thing as overtraining. A specific example that I know from a movie is, you know, It Man. You don't get it, do you? My form is bad, I'm sloppy, and I still don't know any firebending. Not even the basics. Well, he knows the... He knows the basics, kind of. He's bent fire before. Here we go again. It might be Naruto. That might be it. I didn't watch too many animated things, as I said when we first started these. But it seems so familiar, Naruto. I don't, I don't know how the pronunciation goes. <laughs> Aang, it's the middle of the night. You need to go back to sleep. But I forgot my pants and my mask. It's that stress, that classic stress of like something important coming the next day or very soon and you can't sleep because. Please, for me. In this case, saving the world, the fight of his life. Tell me, if you can have anything you wanted right now, what would it be? Hmm, a big fancy fruit tart with rose petals on top. You know, being a prince and all, I might just be able to make that happen. <laughs> That would be impressive. Pretty sure May could do that too. I guess there are some nice perks that come with being royalty. Though there's annoying stuff too. Like that all day war meeting coming up. She's been royalty or at least noble for I guess most of her life. Or maybe her early life was spent with her father chasing that. And that's why her mother was so strict because they needed to climb the ladder. Wake up, wake up sleepyhead. Now that looks like it. <laughs> Rise and shine. You overslept. You miss the invasion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn, this is 
very fitting title. Sokka, you've got to get up and drill your rock climbing exercises. This is a lot of stress for a kid. I mean, for an adult, but especially for a kid, you know. In my dream, we died because of your tiny bladder. And you need to start wearing your hair up. I know you're just trying to help, but you really need to get a grip. It's like every time I think about how stressed I am, I just end up more stressed. <laughs> you know what? I've got just the thing. Affecting him would be putting it lightly. Reach up. Reach for the sun. There's this warm feeling all around me. Like I'm in the Fire Lord's palace and he's shooting a bunch of fireballs at me. Taking a swim would be a little bit of a better idea. Listen, tell me what's been bothering you. You know what's <laughs> bothering me. I love that the beard is recurring. Fire Lord. Why are you so afraid of him? I wonder what he made that beard out of. Is it wool? Or is it like a, a fake beard that he can just like, you know, like a Wanna try beard. screaming into this pillow? Oh, they're like sheep, uh, uh what are they? <laughs> Koalas? That's an interesting combination. If you come for a royal hair combing, I'm afraid you'll have to wait. So I guess there's a big war meeting coming up, huh? And apparently I'm not welcome there. What do you mean? Of course you're welcome there. Throwback to uh, when he was like 12. Stop acting like a paranoid child. Just go to the meeting. Forget it. I'm not going. What you need is a good old fashioned back pounding to relieve your stress. <laughs> ah! Ow! Ah! I don't think that would feel good. I think that's concussion material. It's just a dumb meeting. Who cares? Just think about how things went at the last war meeting you went to. Exactly. <laughs> I know. You know what will make you feel better? Ordering some servants around. I don't know. I don't think that's a good habit to get into. I get I get she's trying to cheer him up, but like I think there are more healthy ways to channel that. So, do you feel less stressed? Ready for a good night's sleep? Uh, I kind of think I sort of might slightly feel a little better. I wonder if Katara could just like then our work here is done. Heal his brain. <laughs> I mean, because melatonin is a thing, and that's that's a naturally occurring substance within the. I'm not really sure how a water healing works. <laughs> These last two have been taking so many notes from horror films. <laughs> I'm gonna stay awake straight through to the invasion. Aang, staying up all night can't can, be like, good for you. Stay with him. Actually, staying up all night has given me some time to think. And I've realized some big things. Like hold his hand through it, you know, maybe make him feel comfortable as he's going to sleep. I'm doing it for the people I love. I'm doing it for you, Katara. I love you. Finally. What are we doing? What our hearts have been telling us to do for a long, long time. <laughs> Baby, you're my forever girl. <laughs> huh? I was just saying you should take a nap. Uh, living I was underwater? feeling like uh, Aang was That's getting me. a little bit um, verbose <laughs> and... Uh... <Whew. laughs> Dramatic with his soliloquies. Prince Zuko, everyone's waiting for you. The Fire Lord said he would not start until you arrive, sir. You think you're untouchable, don't you, Mr. Fire Lord? Oh, you are really starting to lose it, kid. Momo, did you hear something? You, my friend, are just a few plums short of a fruit pie. <laughs> yeah, he's lost it. <laughs> I bet you he's actually saying those things, though. What if he could talk this whole time? Mo, let me explain. Aang? <laughs> We're all starting to get a little worried about you. You've got to take care of yourself. You can't go on like this. I love Ava's voice, and I love that. <laughs> Look, I appreciate what you guys are saying, but the stress and the nightmares, they wow. were just too much. <laughs> Staying awake is the best way for me to deal with it. Cognitive yeah, Aka Top of Design is hilarious. Hey, who asked you? I am sick of this guy always mouthing <laughs> off and telling me what to do. Oh, you don't like it? Well, let's go right now. You didn't look at the beef. What should we do? About what? About that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hit him with the grievous. Come on, guys. 
Man, the back of my head hurts. I need to stop smiling. <laughs> oh, I think that's a nod to uh, the... Huh. I am not brushed up on my um, Hindu religion, but I'm pretty sure that was a nod to the, to the god or one of them. Man, this is worse than Sokka on that cactus water. That's another level. But I loved that. <laughs> Ab and Momo sparring as samurais. I was literally at his right hand. Zuko, that's wonderful. You must be happy. May's really coming out of her shell as well. I like to see that too. During the meeting, I was the perfect prince, the son my father wanted, but I wasn't me. Yeah, I'm glad that he can see that. An imaginary bed made out of clouds. Hey, it's real. We spent hours working on it. We made it for you. <laughs> A good night's sleep will probably take the crazy away. Dang, sheared all we the hope. koala sheep. Look, you guys keep telling me I need to sleep. There's still so much I haven't learned. I don't need sleep. What I need is practice. Feels inadequate, but he Quick, does have a team. Me. You're smart, brave, and strong enough. You can do this. You're the man, Twinkle Toes. You know what? I think I am ready. You're gonna take me out? You're not even wearing pants. You're not wearing pants. <laughs> He's elusive dreaming. <laughs> He's taking control. But we're here. The invasion, I guess that that's next episode. I completely understand why he's going through what he's going through mentally. Just with the stress of the accelerated timetable, having to go through everything that he's gone through in such a short span of time, because it really hasn't been that long. Maybe like a couple months? He had the winter solstice. Roku was saying that he had to defeat the Fire Lord before Sozin's Comet came, which was coming... Uh, summer so it's not that far away i don't think because we just had the summer solstice you know ang was communicating with roku and that's when we got the whole like flashback situation so it really hasn't been that long as he says himself he still has a lot to learn but he does know a lot and he has caught on super quickly he's gonna have katara there she's become more and more powerful as time goes on top probably i would argue probably the most powerful in the group let me know what you guys think in the comments about like who you think is the most powerful but for me i would say it's probably top we have Sokka. he has his sword um, not just the boomerang anymore. Not just the boomerang guy. So it may not be as bad as Aang thinks, and I'm glad he got some sleep in the end. But Zuko is, as I would have suspected, you know, he's not comfortable in this position that he's in. You know, it's it's nice to have all these sort of perks of being the prince. You know, he can order people around if he wants to. He doesn't have to walk, like, what, 10 feet <laughs> to cross the street to go to May's house. That's not really him. His formative years, yes, were spent in the palace having all these amenities and whatnot. But from boyhood to manhood, he's been like on the run or chasing the avatar having to kind of fend for himself and he's still like early on he still had the ship and he still had people who were under his command so he still kind of had a semblance of that royalty but you know throughout season two he was on the run on his own kind of facing things for himself so going back jumping back into this life luxury where you know, everything was done for him and then iroh being imprisoned you know the man who's really shaped him as a man getting a taste of what it's going to be like to really be the Fire Lord's son or be the Prince of the Fire Nation as it stands right now under Fire Lord Ozan. For me, I'm just counting down the days to when he eventually, you know, turns on them or at least turns on Fire Lord Ozan. I don't know what the situation with Azula is going to be because she seems to be, it might just be part of her game because I, I just don't really trust her, I think for good reason, but she might be genuinely thinking of Zuko as a sibling again, you know, not necessarily trying to maneuver him or manipulate him in any way but i think she's becoming more of a wild card for me and a little bit harder to predict uh in that i don't i don't know how she's gonna act she is loyal to the fire nation loyal to the fire lord that's how she spent her life uh, and an, in search of power as well i assume if it came down to it she would be standing by ozai maybe she'd make her own play if that happened i don't know anyway let's hop back in we have episode 10 on the docket so let's roll it So part one, we might have to do three episodes again. <laughs> Seems like we're hitting a like a mid-season finale type of deal here, I guess. I'm ready to face the Fire Lord. Gonna get your glow on and hit him with a little Avatar State action? When Azula shot me with lightning, my seventh chakra was locked, cutting off my connection to all the cosmic energy in the universe. Earth Kingdom colonization must be so quick. I can understand why, like, early on, they were the conquerors. Wee! <laughs> this place ain't hey, nothing like the swamp. swamp guys. What you reckon that is, though? Some sort of Fire Nation exploding trap would eat you? It's just a rock. Yeah, they have rocks in the swamp. I just wish they would wear pants. 
Pants are an illusion, and <laughs> so is death. Man. Hi. Haru, it's so oh. good to see you. Season Tom, one. this is Haru. When we met him, his town was controlled by the Fire Nation, yeah. so we had to Got hide his earth bending. Katara inspired me and my father to take back our village. You helped us find our courage, Katara. Jace Malcolm. <laughs> is that... Hippo happy to see Blind Bandit. Dang. You guys here for a rematch? Negatory. The boulder. Oh, no <laughs> longer fight for others' entertainment. Man, we're getting all kinds of throwbacks. Sweet. Is this the inventor? <laughs> yes, I knew it exactly. I knew it. As soon as that explosion went off, Was that an invention? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> were you able to complete work on the plans Did I you? sent you? Yes, I was. My dad and I made this for you. A new staff. New Upgrade. Glider. <laughs> I bet you're tired of being in the cell, old man. Well, too bad. This guy. You're never stepping outside <laughs> these walls again. Don't get too close. His stench will knock you right out. <laughs> she must be one of the ones. I know you like rare teas. She sounds like a familiar voice. Serena Williams, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. You have been very kind to me. Don't worry. You'll do great. The Fire Lord's Palace is here. Let me start at the beginning. Katar and I discovered Aang frozen in an iceberg. <laughs> the very beginning. <laughs> the temple where Aang used to live, and then we met Suki as a Kyoshi warrior. She dressed me like a woman, and then she kissed me. And then Aang's friend was a crazy old king, and then Katar got the room arrested, and then now he's grown a And I want to thank you all for your self-sacrifice and your courage. We have to get past our first major obstacle here. The great gates of Azulon. Next, we hit the land. And we hit hard. So there we must fight past Suko's their battlements and secure the plot. The boulder is confused. Isn't the point to not just a persona. <laughs> when this is finished, the Avatar will have defeated the final. I don't know how well it's gonna go because uh, we got ten episodes after this. <laughs> nice. Oh, got her in on. oh yeah, wolf. Isn't the where they're from? It's like wolf. Cove or something like that. Because I know Osaka calls his hairstyle something to do with the wolf. Not exactly the classic style, but a, a combination. Very fitting. And the contrast. Zuko taking off the armor. The invasion plan was my moment of truth. And I completely flubbed it. I just fell apart. Well, the presentation portion. It's still his idea. That was just public speaking, and nobody's really good at that. My dad is. He explained the plan perfectly and in sad experience. Look, your moment of truth isn't going to be in front of some map. It's going to be out there on the battlefield. Wonder how they keep it alight. That's a defensive gate if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Against ships, at least. Let's hope your invention works. No one's on board, sir. Where'd they go? <laughs> Submarines. So those are the plans that he, that he gave him. That's awesome. They kind of remind me of the design of like the... Uh, the sub sink and... What is it, like 50,000 leagues or 40,000? 20,000. Leagues into the sea. The designs were a bit difficult to decipher. <laughs> Unfortunately. And Appa with his armor. That's why I left it in the edit, because I figured it would be something that we would get later on. I think you should take the rest of the day off. What? You don't look well. <laughs> yeah, when... <laughs> Maybe you should go home and rest. When they tell you to leave. Not here this <laughs> afternoon. Reaching in his bag and tells you to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Hope you kick some serious Fire Lord butt, Twinkle Toes. The next time we resurface, it'll be on the beaches. Get some D-Day. We've been through so many things together. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm really proud of you. Proud of him too. I think he's gonna be different after today, isn't it? What if I don't come back? Of course he'll. Ooh. Solid. Actions speak louder than words, eh? Wait, <laughs> it's time to submerge. What? Right. I'm sorry, May. Is he leading? No, oh, that's he's writing a letter. I'm happy to see this. It's for the best, really. 
Everyone in position. Earthbenders, into your tanks. This is gonna be a rough ride. See, I guess the mechanist is like, he's a very integral piece of this because pretty much most of the other nations don't necessarily work with metal too much. Not as much as the Fire Nation, at least. I wonder how they had defenses for this, or if these were just like four ships when that happened. Maybe they were thinking about this before, beforehand. Launch! I mentioned it a lot in the first uh, season of reactions, but I just love the integration with technology and bending. It just makes everything so much more unique. I think it is kind of a D-Day type of thing. Nice. I like the setup of the heights too. That was, that was a cool little touch. I, I think the this entire reaction is just me saying I like things. <laughs> I don't know. There's just a lot that I like in this episode. A lot of cool stuff going on. Spectacle-wise, you know. Where in Tornation is you? Hey. Nice. Had to grab some seaweed real quick. Where you been? Communing with nature. Takes a while to collect this much seaweed. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, I was gonna say, Appa, he has some uh, some ability as well. Watch each other's backs. Send some air into those things. <laughs> transition to the I know I've made some bad choices I'm gonna set things right you're gonna grab Iroh everything's lining up so perfectly how does that feel dad a, a little better you can't fight anymore everyone's counting on me to lead this mission Katara now it's time for Sokka to step up I'll lead the invasion force don't be crazy Sokka maybe I am Somebody's a little crazy be. but the eclipse is about to start and we need to be up that volcano by the time it does I'm proud of you son I still think you're crazy, but I'm proud of you too. We're taking that tower and heading for the royal palace. That's strange. Were they expecting? The Avatar is back. Is this what the war meeting was about? We're on our way to victory. Let's keep it going. My guess is that they were expecting them somehow. Fire Lord Oza. Well, maybe they just knew about Where the eclipse. So they decided to retreat while they were less powerful. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna hop. <laughs> we're just gonna hop into part two. I'm gonna keep it rolling. That would really be one of my only guesses, unless there was someone who was informing on the invasion and stuff, or if they just have such a fast communication system that they got there uh, and told them about it, and they all evacuated in that short amount of time. Everything's going smoothly, and the eclipse hasn't even kicked in yet. Let's hope our luck holds out. And that might be because these forces might be, uh... Is that A? What? These might be like a skeleton crew. The entire palace city is abandoned. They knew. It's over. He would have a secret bunker. Somewhere he could go and be safe during a siege. I'm just the girl to find it. It looks like we've got about 10 minutes until the full eclipse. Oof. They better go. We can still do this. Just hop on off of I mean, yeah, they've made a solid dent. I'm sure they've inspired some people now. Dense and made of metal deep in the heart of the volcano. Sounds like a secret bunker to me. Maybe a huge robot. <laughs> Had to add a little finesse to it. <laughs> I am so glad we added you to the group. Yeah, I think further cementing my point that I think Toph is like the, the most powerful member of the team. 
Or maybe that's just like, there's just so much more use for her abilities. The fire lord's chamber is that way. Down hey. the hall to the left and up the stairs. <laughs> you can't miss. No loyalty. No surprise, though. <sighs> Walks the other way. Smart guy. So, it doesn't matter. I've known about the invasion for months. How did she have somebody, like, planted on the inside? I'm ready to face you. Put on your eclipse glasses! <laughs> I know, uh, we've had an eclipse recently. I think it came out around the time that I watched the episode where they were talking about the eclipse. During the middle of an eclipse. But yeah, people looking at the sun, going blind. First of all, embossing say uh, it was a Zulu who took down the avatar. The not my sight right now if you know what's good for you. That's another thing. I'm not taking orders from you anymore. You will obey me, or this defiant breath will be your last. You gonna kill him? Think again. I am going to speak my mind. Stop wasting our time and give us the information. I'll be able to tell if you're lying. I am a 400 foot tall purple platypus bear. Okay, you're good, I admit it. <laughs> She's a matter of belief, I guess. You know, people fool polygraph tests. When I left Ba Sing Se, I brought home some souvenirs. Oh, Dai Li yeah. agents. Here we are. And I mean, it, since they evacuated it, it makes it a little bit easy. We'll never surrender. <laughs> uh, okay, we surrender. Surprised that the Fire Nation just doesn't know about this, but I guess it was like hidden history. My father, who challenged me, a 13 year old boy to an Agni Kai. How can you possibly justify a duel with a child? Growing up, we were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. We've created an era of fear in the world. And if we don't want the world to destroy itself, we need to replace it with an era of peace Zuko, and kindness. Zuko spitting facts here, but yeah, it's going one in, in one ear out the other. Your gotten to you, hasn't he? Yes. Iroh should have been in this chair. He would have been, made such a better ruler. Even if he did continue the war. I feel like he might have even stopped it at a certain point, you know? Or been a lot less brutal. Man, Azula's like a cat, running around doing acrobatics. Maybe she took some lessons from Ty Lee. Speaking of which, we haven't seen her. I wonder where she's at. I mean, he could have just, gotcha, bitch. you know, grabbed on, but... She's yeah. not even trying to win this fight. She's waiting. Not true. We just have to get out of here and find the Fire Lord on our own somehow. So, Sokka's your name, right? My favorite prisoner used to mention you all the time. Mm. Ah! Come and get it. <laughs> Where is... Suki! Man, that's his weakness. <laughs> I do feel for Sokka though, because he's... Especially in that department, you know, because one, his first... <laughs> the first uh, woman that he loved, or girl that he loved, is now the moon. <laughs> the other one is in turmoil. Probably based on some of the things that he probably feels responsible for himself. Oh, that's just beautiful. I'm going to join the Avatar, and I'm going to help him defeat you. Really? Here we go. I was kind of predicting that. I had the feeling it would happen. I probably have seen something too, thinking about it. Because I know my own destiny. Taking you down is the Avatar's destiny. Coward! You think you're brave enough to face he's me, but you'll only do it during the eclipse. Because he's not stupid. Don't you want to know what happened to your stupid. mother? Wow. These through lines of love are really... What are um, drawing us in, I guess, holding these ties? She proposed a plan, a plan in which I would become Fire Lord. Where are you keeping her? Your mother did vicious treasonous things that night. She was banished. So she's alive. Your penalty will be far steeper. 
the fires on the Oh my goodness. Sun's not even out yet. <laughs> Redirected, just like Ira taught him. And now we get that too, is that he, that inner turmoil is now gone. He's at peace. Because that was that's what was holding him back in the first place. Dad's all the way at the end of the hall, then down a secret stairway on the left. I used up all our time. It's not your fault, Sokka. Yeah, they would have been looking for him, but like... The eclipse is over, but I can face the Fire Lord anyway. I came here with a job to do, and everyone's counting on me. The yeah. Fire Lord knew we were Thinking about it, it kind of reminded me of Palpatine. Ah! Expect we're going to see some firebenders and we have next. taken objective butter. Yep, the balloons. I was just talking about that I think a couple episodes ago, but my own invention. Yep. Oh, this is terrible. A Fire Nation dreadnought has arrived. Oh my gosh. A dreadnought. <laughs> Multiple. This is terrible. <laughs> like, as soon as I saw that battlefield voice just popped into my mind. Some machine guns or something. I guess the vendors, yeah. Those people are dead. <laughs> so that's something back in there. Yeah, I know Zeppelins were a thing in like World War One. I. I don't think so much in World War Two, but definitely World War One. Uncle. Yeah, that. Is that the guy that I was, was always talking? Yes. Where's my uncle? The first He's one. He's gone. He busted. I've never seen anything like it. He was like a one-man army. Nairo moved just to leave that guy alive. They're gonna destroy the submarines! How are we all gonna escape? We're not. You kids have to leave. You have to escape on Appa together. What? You're our only chance in the long run. You and Sokka have to go with- Let's hope they get taken prisoner at least. The adults will stay behind and surrender. We'll be prisoners. But we'll all survive this battle. Yeah, at least she'll be alive. I've got some experience with Fire Nation prisons. It's not going to be easy. What was that like episode six, season one in prison? George Takai. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, you know that. I hope you do. Oh man, is he alive? Phew. <laughs> they have the inventor there. Are we gonna try to force him to do some stuff? Bye, Dad. I'm really proud of you. Take care, the Duke. Uh. The just don't call him Duke, you know? Maybe that we was the We tasted point. victory, and that counts for something. It's we won't be apart for too long this time. I promise. Thank you all for being so brave and so strong. I'm gonna make this up to you. So many hard decisions they've had to make in this show. The writing has just been so stellar. I know just the place for us to go where we'll be safe for a while. The Western Air Temple. <laughs> okay, I think this is the first time we're gonna be seeing it. That was the last one. We're gonna dive into the closing thoughts. These three episodes, but specifically the invasion of the Fire Nation, served as something of checkpoints for where we are in the show and how far we've come from season one. The progression from the first season to the third shows a clear evolution in their tactics. Initially, they were often on the defensive, learning to survive and counteract the Fire Nation's advances. Now we see that they're taking the fight to the enemy, demonstrating their growth and capability. The tactical shift also reflects the character's personal growth. With the comparison in mind as well, in the first season finale, Aang's use of the Avatar state was crucial. Fast forward to the invasion of the Fire Nation in Season 3, and the situation is markedly different. Aang no longer has access to the Avatar state due to the events that transpired with Azula, and now having to face the Fire Nation, and specifically the Fire Lord, without the Avatar state is a testament to Aang's development. He's learned to rely on his own skills, wisdom, and the support of his friends. It really underscores his journey from a reluctant hero to a confident leader, willing to face his foes head-on, even without the safety net of the Avatar state, further reflecting his inner strength and his growing acceptance of his responsibilities. We also got a number of very important character moments 
moments in these episodes. The moments between Sokka, Katara, and their father, specifically between Sokka and their father. Someone being proud of someone else came up multiple times in this episode. When people are faced with the death and there's a finality to things, everything boils to the surface and you get to see who people really are when it comes down to it. And all these characters sort of coming forward with everything that they've been going through internally and making a lot of the decisions they made really shows you how great of characters they are. Sokka taking up the helm, leading the forces when he's needed. Katara doing the same. Aang deciding to face the Fire Lord even after the eclipse was over. That resolve within him to not fail again was very strong, but he also demonstrated another type of strength in that he was willing to back down and retreat because he could see the wisdom in that decision. And Zuko, huge leaps and bounds for his character, really did not take him very long to grow tired of this princely life and uh, with, of course, the continued nudging of Iroh, ask himself who he is, who he wants to be, and then finally deciding in that moment when he's facing his father, getting all that stuff off of his chest, and then tying that back into the episode when Iroh was teaching him how to redirect lightning, and he couldn't do it because of that inner turmoil he was facing, and then bringing us back to that moment, now he's able to redirect it unscathed, and it's just the final piece slipping into place of this is who Zuko is now, this is who he wants to be, this is who he's meant to be, this balancing force, this bringer of peace from a nation driven by conquest and driven by imperialism. A nation led by a cold-blooded murderer. Because as we saw here, he was ready to just kill Zuko, his own son, right off the bat. He had no idea that Zuko knew how to redirect lightning. But going forward, I think that is what I'm going to be looking forward to the most, seeing the interactions between Zuko and the rest of the Avatar crew. If they accept him at all, Katara was kind of coming around to him when she heard him out a little bit. I'm pretty sure Aang won't be too hard to convince because he's already tried to be friends with Zuko, maybe on multiple occasions, but one in particular occasion I remember was the Blue Spirit episode when he was talking about his friend Kuzan, who he took the name of in this season. We also got confirmation that Suki is still or was at least a prisoner. They were speaking in past tense, so I really hope that nothing bad happened to her, and that might have just been Azula playing up that sort of manipulation, but I really do hope she's still alive for Sokka's sake, because he's been through it in that department. As I mentioned during the reaction, he could definitely use a win, but I mean, there's... <laughs> I hate to say it, but there's always Ty Lee. If, if stuff doesn't work out with Suki, there's always Ty Lee. But, and speaking of relationships too, Mei and Zuko, I, I don't know what he wrote in the letter to Mei, but I hope she takes it well, takes it the best that she can. I hope it doesn't cause her to go further inward and sort of retreat in on herself again, because she was just sort of starting to come out of her shell and be a little bit more happy and enjoy life, and I would hate to see her have sort of a relapse into her old depressive ways, you know? And Aang and Katara, of course, I like how it went, you know? Aang just kind of went for it, the talking was over, he knew what he had to do and he knew he might not come back from it and he just took the opportunity. And another important development for Zuko was the fact that we learned that his mother is still alive or is potentially still alive. She was only banished and that was the plan. I was thinking it was a lot more darker than that and she just straight up, they just straight up like killed her. Um, but I'm glad to know that she's alive and that also gives Zuko another kind of side mission for himself, side quest to maybe find his mother or find out what he can about her, where she's at. I don't know how Azula would react to that. I would hate for her to try to do the same thing just to kind of get at Zuko or get back at her mother. But we did see that her mother kind of seeing her as a monster really affected her. For as little as she showed, I think that that was a major hit to her in her early years. And, you know, any kid whose parent thinks that they're a monster, I guess, would be affected. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.